Broadcast Network, After Buzz TV. Over 20 million weekly downloads in over 150 countries, and your number one source for after show entertainment. <laughs> TV, the destination for TV superfans, producing after shows for over 300 of your favorite TV shows, interviewing celebrities and showrunners, and bringing you behind-the-scenes exclusives. All thanks to E! Entertainment's Maria Menounos, producer Kevin Undergaro, and internet leader Akamai. Now, let the buzz begin! Hey everyone, welcome back to After Buzz TV, Dancing with the Stars. On this Veterans Day, we want to thank all of the servicemen for getting out there and representing our country and fighting for our freedom. We sure appreciate that. Men and women, let's just put it that way. Yes. Um, I'm Kristen Burt, and we have got a great night. Everyone's in studio, and we have probably our number one most requested guest every single season here, too. So <laughs> let's go around the room and introduce everyone. Anna Trubinskaya. Hi, everybody. Happy Veterans Day. Across from the table, Suri Serrano. Hello. Happy Veterans Day, everybody. All right, then I'm going to go to the couch. Now, this is We're calling like Jake being a total gentleman and sitting yeah. in a hot seat today. Jake Dupree. It's me, Jake Dupree. With some really good bangs. Always. Banging. Yes. America. <laughs> and the woman that all of you have requested, she is back this season. We are so grateful for you to be in studio. Shirley Ballas. Yes, and happy Veterans Day. Thank you. I did not serve. Has anyone served? No. None of us. I right. always no. serve. <laughs> always oh, serve. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> All right. Well, we had a, a big night last night with Dancing with the Stars. Um, we had the trios. We had America's Choice. We had some voting that was kind of all over the map. And um, I was in studio yes, last night. Yes, you were. Did anyone, to say that. Did you anyone see me video bombing? I video bombed. I saw Tom it. Bergeron. <laughs> I saw it. I saw it. Oh, yeah. It was adorable. I see it. It's, it's on Instagram if you want to see it. it. Yeah. I just want to say it was not intentional. I just was kind of excited. He's from my neighborhood in Massachusetts. And uh -huh. I was like, hey. And um, and then I didn't realize I was like on camera. Yes, uh -huh. I did not buy that for a second. <laughs> you work in front of the camera. You know. <laughs> I didn't realize it was a wide shot like that. It looked a little bit more narrow with the camera they were using. But. I love him, and he knows that. I think he's the best host in the he biz. Is. So right, we just is. want to give a shout out. I was not making fun of him. I was like, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, let's go to uh, the first dances of the night. We're gonna jump right into this because I, I, Shirley's on fire. That's all I have to say. She's already on <laughs> yes, fire. So I want her to talk as much as possible. Mm -hmm. um, Alfonso and Whitney kick off the night with the Fox Trot. Or ain't that a kick in the head? Shirley, go ahead. Well, I love the music. I mean, mm -hmm. I think Alfonso's been a front runner all season. He seems to get major scores. He's done some fabulous performances where I feel like he's got deserved marks. And then last week, maybe perhaps his cha cha that got all tens, but mm, maybe it wasn't the best he'd done. But overall, I think he brings it week in week out. Love the music. Thought Whitney's done an amazing job. So I thought he did a good number yesterday. He really did. Anna, what did you think about this number? Um, I mean, it was a perfect combo. It was perfect music. It was perfect outfit for him. Yeah. She looked beautiful. Um, was perfect mix of a little bit of uh, stuff and hold and a, and a little bit of jazzy stuff in the old Hollywood. So it was a really clever routine. I thought the marks were well deserved. I was quite impressed with him actually leading her yeah. and supporting her and carrying himself in in the in the very sort of proper ballroom way. So that was like, woo. Go. He talked about his confidence in hold too, because he was like, I, I didn't feel it before, and he's like, right. I'm, yeah, he's like, I feel like I settled into it this time. Jake, the male celebrities have such a hard time because it's they they truly have to learn to lead, and I think he really did an awesome job doing that. But I also this was honestly one of my favorite dances of his because yeah. I felt like it combined his personality, like his hip hoppy flair that they always kind of do, but the technique I thought was just like so on point. I don't know, I was just blown away by that. I actually right. watched it like three times. Uh, yeah. Sorry, do you think anyone could beat them this season? Uh, hot seat there, Lots okay, is a yeah, lot. Yeah. Right? <laughs> um, uh, well, yes, because of the way the show is structured and mm -hmm. formatted. Uh, should anybody beat them? I don't know. That's up for debate. I mean, he, his level is so high, mm -hmm. his right. abilities. Well, he came in high, didn't he, from week it's one? So high. Right. Yes. And he's maintained Very. it, so it's difficult if you take somebody like Sadie, who's done no dancing, who has to start as a beginner, and right. then come all the way up to the level that she's done. Yeah. Yeah. You know, So it's a little bit it's hard to judge, really, isn't yeah. it? You've got the beginner moving up to here. You've got the professional, so to speak, dancer started here and who's remained there. 
Right. Yeah. So, I know. Alfonso was in a commercial with Michael Jackson. That's like correct. that's amazing. And, and he was on Broadway yeah. as a kid in Tap Dance Kid. I, and I heard they're doing tap for their freestyle. Yeah. I also wow. read an, I read an article oh, recently. That's awesome. I read an article though in the last few days that he said he didn't really have much training at all. Really? So, <laughs> well, yeah, in, well in terms of like I guess in terms of like a partner dance, I don't think that he sure, has any maybe. experience. Partner, you've learned how to do choreography, you know how to count and you that's right. know what rhythm is. You're a dancer. And, here we go. You and can you move know to music. Rehearsal studio etiquette, like how to learn, all of all of exactly. that. There's so many different things with but that. But I have to say he's a very charming man. He and is. I think that helps. Yes. I mean, on off he's the same, on the floor, off the floor, meet him here, meet him there. He's, he's just so a funny. very nice person. And, and the you, Fresh Prince cast was there. Yeah. Last and night. you root for him too, yeah. because yeah. he's so he seems very lovely. So yeah. I love that. Yeah, yes. and, and that's kind of been nice to just to see. Like, it, it's sweet. Everyone loves it. Like, I literally, this was me in the audience. I'm like, where's the baby? Where's the baby? Because they always oh. show their wife and baby after. And they're, sure enough, they were like, yay. Yeah. The baby, they only bring the baby in for, like, you know, that one shot because it's oh. noisy in there, but it's so yeah. cute. <laughs> um, three nines and a ten all together for a score of 37. I don't think anyone. This was probably one of the scores we won't argue tonight. No. <laughs> There's some more. Yeah. <laughs> There's some more coming. All right, Tommy and Peta. And this was kind of an interesting start because we didn't have an opening number last night. But yes. we found out that Tommy was safe. And I turned to my boyfriend who went with me as my date last night. And mm. I was like... That means Leah's going home. Uh -huh. wow. I said that right away. Yeah. And he goes, are you sure about that? And I'm like, I am. That's, she's yeah. done. And oh. she must feel it. I don't know if she felt it, but... I don't think she felt it. You don't think so? I, I think she's such a very... Com I've met her, and she's a very confident person mm -hmm. in herself, so I don't think for a minute she thought she, she thought was she was going home. Oh, wow. I just... Why, was she in jeopardy last week? She... No. No, she she's wasn't. been in jeopardy. I felt like after that Bonnie and Clyde number mm -hmm. last week... The that she's been like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Jake and, Jake I, and I, I, compl I called it last week. I said yeah. that she would probably go home. Yeah. Wow. Way before. I think Tommy is going to probably be in the finals, too. Me too. I really, I'll say it. I, I've got a funny feeling. Uh -huh. I think Tommy's going to the final. <laughs> and I'm going to be so happy about it because yeah, I think he's too. so cute. You you root for him. Like, he's super sweet and just like him shaking it all the time. I'm just like, he's I love you. He's sexy as hell. I say I it every you. time. But, you know, he had the loudest applause and yeah. cheers in studio out of anyone last night. Yeah. And that's what I said. Mark my words. I'm like, there's the final finale <laughs> in his future. There uh -huh. is like right. some like crazy <laughs> freestyle that Pete is going to have to start concocting right now. Because They're gonna have Snoop Dogg on there I probably. Like I hope. Like it's just gonna be like this sure. whole high situation. Big ganja thing. <laughs> I love that Peta admitted last night that she thought they were gonna be gone week one or two. That was, with her interview with, with Anna. I mean, that's just yeah. being honest. You Absolutely. know, yeah. As a pro when you get Very somebody, true. you kind of like think, oh yeah, he's yeah. seventy five years old. Like what do you six? Here we go. <laughs> oh, a year of fun, <laughs> plus minus, no big deal. Um, what do we think of walls. his dancing? Yeah, yeah let's do it. Well, talk about his Viennese waltz. Um, well, we love his personality. There were a couple of basic uh, right turn and left turn uh, mixed with some very simple choreography that he handled and that she helped him through. I'm talking about Peta being a strong girl and talking about you said, oh, you know, the male celebrities have to learn how to lead. Not always. <laughs> <laughs> They done should, a lot of they should this learn. They, they should, should have would have. Yeah. I don't think that I don't think Tommy is really leading. Uh, but he is holding his own. Yeah. He's doing what he I'll has say. to do. He's bringing on his personality. He's positive every single week. He's inspirational. And I think that's why he's going so far because we look at him and like, if I can be that kind of person at mm -hmm. seventy six, gee, I'll be so happy. So good job. Yeah. All right, Shirley, what'd you think? 76, one of my favorites, and I have to say, I love the way Peter, she'll be in frame like this, and then she'll hook it up yeah. when the judges are hooking and give him a hitch on the left side to get his arms up. Oh, we see. And you can see she's maneuvering in the round, but his footwork was quite nice. Yes. Like you said, he did open right turns. I just thought he was great. Yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, so we, we don't talk a lot of technique when it comes to Tommy because we're just, like, all obsessed with his personality. But his technique was quite reasonable, I found. No yeah. worse than anyone else's. And we didn't really see any effects from that injury he had in the calf, right? Oh, yeah. No. No. yeah. Good for no, him. so much fun to watch. Mm. What do you think, sir? No, that, no, I just, I, I agree with all of you. He's so much fun to watch, and I just sit, I find myself sitting back and just smiling the entire time mm. watching him. The whole studio is like that with him. You just want to give him a cuddle. Mm -hmm. Aww, yeah. Say it's going to yeah. be okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He walked into the audience because on the side that I was sitting and, you know, say hi to his wife and people started like swarming that had snuck in their cameras and everything. Ooh. Like, I want a picture. I want a picture. I mean, he's wow. he's the guy to get a selfie with. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Seven eight seven seven for score twenty nine. Len gave him an eight. Yeah, pretty good. 
Yeah. Hey, good. that's great. Mm -hmm. um, Artem and Leah doing the samba. Um, and, you know, I think that this was a, one of her better weeks. I know. Okay. We gotta go to Shirley because she just looked down. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it was caught on camera. Everybody's holding their tongue, waiting. They can't I wait think, to say something. I think Artem is delightful, and I think he's done an amazing job with everything he's done. I just think the guy is very, very smart but and shirtless. I thought the dress was too mm -hmm. short. I thought it was kind of vulgar. <laughs> it didn't give me Thank a feeling you. of. Um, sensuality it was more sexual so and it was a little bit more hey, let's give me some more again. I, I just it just wasn't my cup of tea i just just was not for me at all i didn't like the technique i didn't like all the bent legs i think when you've got not the correct leg actions cover it up she didn't show the shorter skirt possible oh, yeah. so you mm -hmm. could see it, uh, from a dancer's point of view everything you could see everything and i almost get that the personality is that that it's a bit pushed in your face mm -hmm. like you know even the cocking the leg up on the side did you see that Anna before it started so I mean I know the judges seem to tend towards flocking towards sensuality as against good clean whatever what are we so, talking about <laughs> no it wasn't my cup of tea at all thank you Miss Shirley Ballas because I was watching this yesterday and I was kind of going no. Ooh, it was it was uncomfortable yep. to watch. I, I mean, agree. I get it. She's fifty three, is she? Mm -hmm. And she looks fantastic. But look, a you're still fifty three. Make it age appropriate. Make it cover age it appropriate. Up. If it's you, sacks and bags, cover it. And, and that's she, just not who she is. Like, exactly. As a person, as a yeah. like, and the essence of a person. And that's not she's who she like, is. and I and I get that they wanted her to be a cat, and then the cougar and the whole joke joking so about put it. Put an all in put one a, on then. Put a put a skirt on. Like keep the same material, fringe it out. but put a skirt yeah. on, down, put some longer out. fringe. <laughs> and I agree, if your leg action isn't hundred percent on point, especially in like towards the end of the competition, you gotta you gotta be clever in the costumes. And we've seen it many many times. And Shirley can speak probably a whole lecture on costuming and grooming, right? Mm. And it's just one of those visual things that I just couldn't get past. And then the face that was extra and extra and extra. And I'm like, you are an elegant type of dancer. What are you doing? It just looks so put on, extra, un un unreal. Jake's had a lot to I've say on Leah. Saying so. it, I've been saying it the entire season. It's so, it's this, it's very forced. Like everything mm. is very forced. This is not who she is. This like uber sexual, like licking her lips and all this stuff. It's just weird. Like it's just, I don't want to see that. And I think that it's a shame because she is truly an exquisite but dancer. And has, comes from your heart, doesn't it? You you can't be something off the floor that you're not on the floor. And I think that's what the judges were be. saying. Art maybe Arden was encouraging her to be that way. And I'm like, he doesn't have any control over what her face is doing, like what her body's doing in terms of the performance. Like he has it in rehearsal, but like he doesn't right. know what she's gonna do when the camera comes on and yeah. everything has to be all fired up. But I don't know. I, I'm not shocked at all that she went home. I know mm -hmm. that a lot of people on our Twitter, on Twitter feed were, they were like blown like, really? up. I was like, <laughs> no, I, I'm not surprised at all because if you look at Janelle, she came out of the gate being super, super sexual and like sensual and like always all about this fire. But there's a progression that she's made throughout the entire mm -hmm. season where it's become a mature thing and I, Leah regressed in a way which is strange for an adult woman yeah, of that age to do. So it's strange. Yeah, I don't know. because it was like confidence and then it went away. And, I, I, you know, I, when I interviewed her, she talked a lot about um, feeling old. Um, and I think what that happens as women age, especially in Hollywood. Um, and, and I, you know, I said to her, I kind of, and I, I said this on the show before, but I was like, I kind of broke my reporter mold and was like, you look amazing. And we were all talking about it and you're gorgeous. And like, don't think that you're competing against 17 year old Sadie or 18 year old Bethany or and she's Twisted more of a, she's a natural dancer as compared to any of those girls yeah. on the show. Right. So. Yeah. Um, so that was where the one thing I noticed uh, just seeing her in person. She's so wispy and tiny, um, very ballet, very up, and, and it, seeing it live and you know versus watching on the TV screen, I was like, oh yeah, I just wanted to get a little bit more down and. Mm -hmm. We see that in the trio later right. on, but I'm like, she is wispy and tiny and petite. And oh, she can shift. She's a good mover. I yeah, mean, she's she's trained. But I wanted like get in plie but a little I, bit more I agree sometimes. With you and that those, you know, whether Autumn did it, whether she chose to do it. I mean, I think the professionals have a huge say over. Costumes. At the end of the day, what costumes mm -hmm. and facial expressions and things like that, mm -hmm. they can push that. But I just, it just, I mean, I'm mm. 54 and I have to do things and lecture and go and put on costumes, but it's always appropriate for the, for, you're not 18 anymore. So yeah. it's appropriate and people can still, 
love something that's got quality in it. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. So I don't sorry. think you need to shove it in people's face. I've, I've exactly. been aligned with Jake these last several weeks, and I you know, was watching last night, and I was so confused by everything <laughs> that we're talking about. Just confused, because I'm like, well, is it her? Is this who she is? Or is this put on? Because I, every week it was getting really old for me, because I was very uncomfortable the whole routine watching her. I'm like, with her face and her lips and kind of everything. I'm like, what? And, and she's somebody I've wanted as we talked about, to you know, to see kind of elevate and continue to get better and better and better, and I was rooting for, but um, found her uh, awkward. Not her awkward, but pa- watching it was awkward. I wonder if me. she's confused. You know, when you're um, confused in your own head as as a dancer, you're not sure maybe yeah. what the choreographer wants you to do, and you it starts registering in in weird ways and manifests itself not only through movement but through the emotion. I wonder if she just didn't have a clear vision of like what was expected. I don't know, but when when it was over and they're running up, you know, the stairs to go get their scores and things, and I was watching, you know, I always watch her, and I mean, she's so excited and happy, and mm-hmm. you know, and whatever. So it's like, well, maybe that is who she is, and she's just so excited that that's how it's coming out. Yeah. I don't know. It, it it really changed. I think the whole thing changed when when they had to switch partners, and I think that she saw Artem with Janelle and was like, this little hot little ticket is, you know. I, I don't know if she was trying to emulate that or trying to be that, but that's kind of when it changed a little bit for me. Right. Like that whole week was yeah. when it like all switched. Because the don't contemporary know. was the week before, right? And that was stunning. Stunning. That's who she is. Like that's who she is as a person, and, like the essence that people mm. relate to and want to vote for. That's right. interesting. So, I didn't even think about that because you know I said that with um, Bethany and Mark. I felt like that was a switch for Bethany. Uh-huh. Like the light bulb yeah. went on. Yeah. I, I do want to really quick add. Sorry, before yeah. I know you're going to move on um, from this couple. Uh, I, after Shirley speaking about her costume, I do agree. When I when I saw the costume, I love the top part of it. Yeah. Right, mm-hmm. gorgeous. It's beautiful. But I kept and I, I went back and forth the whole routine. I'm like, do I do I think it's inappropriate or do or is it okay? And I'm like, I did not feel it. I did not feel the whole thing. Yeah. So I'm just I agree with all of you. I'm with yeah. all of you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Well. She won't be around for next week, so we can't critique her wardrobe <laughs> next week. Uh, but it was a uh, eight nine eight nine, so thirty four on all of that. Moving mm-hmm. on to the next couple, it is Bethany and Derek. Yeah. Uh, Vimi's waltz. Um, one thing I just want to speak about Bethany because we had a hard time sort of like figuring her out the first few weeks and everything. But um, when that girl got on the dance floor before, you know, during the commercial break, that girl was focused. Like she was in the zone. She yeah. was like, "I got this," uh, and then she That's went cool. out there. It was really neat to see. I, I always like watching um, like who looks nervous, who looks unsure, who looks really confident, and she was like cool as a cucumber. Love it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think, uh, well, she obviously has that TV little thing that she does from her bedroom, which has given her this ultra confidence. So at the beginning, she sort of started off quiet, I felt. Mm -hmm. And as with anything that Derek does, he manages to bring out the best in anything or anybody. Or if I lecture with him or do anything with him, he's, like, on point. And uh, I just felt that she's doing this little rise now. Mm-hmm. Thought the dress was beautiful. Yes. Thought the choreography was appropriate. She she excelled in everything that she did. So, I thought he did extremely well yesterday with Bethany. She was uh, cute. Yes. I just want to add that watching them all night last night, the whole time, all I kept thinking to myself mm-hmm. was, and saying out loud, "This is Derek's magic." This mm-hmm. is the magic of Derek because look at what he's helped bring out in her. Mm-hmm. That whole partnership. Yeah, what do you think gorgeous. Of? Well, uh, I mean, I agree, but I also think it's the magic of Bethany because yeah. it always takes it two to tango, mm-hmm. and it, it, even with you know a coach, you have to be receptive to it. Exactly, yeah. with a coach and a student, and you can tell a student hundred times what to do, but That's if they're right. not going to do it, there's <laughs> nothing. You could be the most brilliant coach in the world, and you will, you, you will fail. Until they do it, right. so she's the one that does it, and Derek has his ways of pulling it out. But at the end of the day, she's the one that's being vulnerable, which is very difficult. Opening her heart, trust in him, because it's again very scary, and just kind of stepping into this whole experience and finding herself in it in a whole new way. So I applaud her. Yeah. I think she's doing a fantastic job. I like her more and more every single week. Mm-hmm. And um, I, I wish that Vinny's waltz was a little bit longer. 
That's, it yeah. felt wow. super short. I was like, oh, and it's over. Yeah, it was oh. beautiful. Oh, and I was kind of hoping it would leave Because it took a while to end. get going, didn't it? Didn't uh -huh. they do something in the yeah. aisle or something? Yeah, they did something this in like three sets of eight or something before it moved. Right, or yeah. and I, I wish, and he was speaking so much about, oh, you know, I'm going to leave you at the end, and then he didn't, and I was like, oh. Well, I guess he changed his mind. <laughs> <laughs> Typical guy, Jake. And I agree at the beginning, there was like a moment and her shoulders were kind of up and I was like, oh no, like this is not good. But then as soon as it started going up, she has such, she's progressed such in such a way that's super fascinating to me. Like I think, I think she's my one to watch right now. Mm -hmm. Like I really do think yeah. so. And the, the way that she uses her legs and the extension through her arms and through her hands, she didn't have that at the beginning. She really no. didn't. And I'm... I'm so happy, and then we'll talk about the trio later, but, I mean, she she's one to watch because she's peaking at the right moment exactly. to, like, mm -hmm. take it all the way to the end. And she so wasn't a character this week, too. She's done really well with, with all the characters, but, you know, just being raw and emotional and being yourself is hard. You're yeah. showing it in yeah. front of millions of people in and America. And to be as young as she is. She just turned, what, 19? Mm -hmm. She just had a birthday, so. Yay. Unbelievable. All nines for that. I thought that was good. <laughs> Yeah, were, were I think okay? she should have gotten a 10. Just a 1, I think. Yeah, I mean, I think the way that all the judging went last night, yes. you're probably going to throw in a 10 in there hey, at that point. Hey, yeah. we, we are talking about 9s and 10s. There These was are nothing, good. Yeah. There was nothing lower than 7. <laughs> so yeah. I think it, we are okay. Yeah. We are okay here. Oh, we just like to throw out a 10 for people sometimes. <laughs> I think she deserved at least one 10. I do. Mm. Oh, next we get to Sadie and Mark you. doing the jive. Aww. Um, I'll just throw out my quick little observation on Sadie, and I, I told Charlie this. You can't take your eyes off of Sadie. On TV, in person, you're just like, who's that girl? Who's that girl? I mean, you, mm -hmm. I hope she's ready for it because she's got the charisma. They, so, someone's going to make her a superstar, whether it's ABC giving her a show or somebody else. Yeah. That girl has got it. So wow. let's well, talk about Mark. I got to meet her at the very, very beginning of the show. And I have to say from the before the show started all the way up, she has not changed a bit. Whether we go to church or whether we go to eat, the praying, the, the just the person, the character, the, she will not sacrifice one of her morals for anybody else. It's personal to herself. So like when they did Rumba Week, and I believe Mark said something like, you know, Rumba has got that sensuality. And if you're going to go pretty, then I'm not sure that Carrie Ann and those people People will like it, and she said, "Then so be it. Mm, I love then that. so be it. I will take whatever comes. You make me look pretty. Mm. You make me look just girly, and girly, and I nice. think it's that self-assurance that makes her so magnetic too. And it also right. makes it so clear for Mark. There are no double standards. It's like, well, that's the way it's going to be, and so on and so forth. So I thought, I thought she needed to work a little bit on a flicky, kicky part. But mm -hmm. I thought generally, overall, it's quite a difficult dance to mm -hmm. do. I thought she executed it quite well. They've got the hair maybe in front of the music. I felt a little bit at the beginning, but still, I think that the way her marks have gone all season. I still think she did a pretty good performance. I mean, they haven't exactly given her a lot of confidence to come back every week to say, right. okay, you're the superstar. So each week it's that you rebuild yourself back up. And I think she did that yesterday. I think she got out there and she said, okay, today's a different day. Let's see where it goes. And she and she did a good job, I thought. Well, let's just throw that out there. Let's throw it on the table, what we can talk about. But they probably have some of the most uneven judging of any of the couples this right. season. I'm, I'm not, not sure if it's uneven or just unfair. How is Mark feeling about this? Because he's doing incredible work. We've praised it each and every mm -hmm. week. I mean, it's probably his most creative well, season. I think everybody on the show, I mean, I've, as you know, I've worked with most of them on the show. And I said to you earlier, sometimes there's a professional Shirley, and then sometimes there's just a downright mother Shirley. <laughs> and, and to stand there and watch Halloween week and to watch the wow. um, the effort put forth in the clothing, the effort put forth, there's three hours he had to sit there to put the makeup on to get those contact lenses in, which were not easy, to dress Sadie the way he, she, he dressed, to, to do the whole thinking about the little girl with the teddy bear that could come into the, you know, the little string that pulled and the red dress fell down. Just the set, even if you didn't like the choreography one had to at least say well you know I admire you for your set it was a theme week it was Halloween week for Len to say something like well it's just wish you'd get out there and do a Paso Doble we're on season 19 is it now yeah. do we Wake really up. want to see one more season of just a twist turn I don't think so <laughs> so I felt really sitting in the audience for me it actually I felt physically sick for them for Sadie for Mark 
because I was there during the, the, the rehearsals the day before. They were excited. We think America's going to love this. This is right on Halloween week. The boys and girls are going to be thrilled. It's a little scary, but it's not too scary. You know, it's got this dress theme. It's got so many different themes. It's the real deal. To see him get sevens, the same as Tommy Chong, and I love Tommy Chong, Yeah, yeah. was... I just did not understand that. And I know that there's politics and this and that and the other. You know, they say there isn't, but I'm not so sure. But <laughs> to there just is. Absolutely. <laughs> I'll say it. Couldn't be a seven. It couldn't be. She didn't trip. She And then Carrie Ann said something about she missed a foot. She didn't miss a footing. I played it back six times. I mean, if you're not sure what a twist turn is, Carrie Ann, you need to really have another look again because that girl did not lose her footing. Ooh, she her. didn't lose her footing. She didn't lose. If she did, I'll be the first one to say, you know what? That wasn't very good. I always tell them, Mark, Derek, Val, all the boys. Boys, Tony Devalani, all my boys. If they'll come, what did you think? No, tonight wasn't your night, but I'm sorry, that night belonged to them. And we go through this all the time each season, too, of like what a Tommy Chong seven looks like versus what a Sadie <laughs> Robertson seven looks right. like. And it's not fair, honestly. No. Well, she's been in the bottom two, two or three times. She's got the lowest scores, I think, of anybody been. I mean, she's had one or two good scores. I think Julianne's probably been about the fairest. She kind of, you know, says it as it is, and I found her critiques to be quite quite interesting. She's mm. given some really nice constructive criticism to but people to take. to just throw up his arms like this, you know, and then have to come back the following week and say, we do admire your creativity. <laughs> right. We do like this, and Mark's face was a little bit, you know, like, like what really? do you mean? Like, I mean, what do you want here? You know? Make up your mind. Well, I, um, let's get back to the jive from yesterday. Uh, I almost feel like it was strategic what Mark did with the jive. He just Extremely. stripped everything off. Right down. And every, it's like, you know what? We've been so creative this whole season, and we, we, we show them we can be. Let's just be let's just be all about dancing. And they were. Mm -hmm. um, it was a hard routine. Um, she's a tall girl, mm -hmm. and for tall girls, it's hard to do yeah, the job. Yeah, but jive. they say that she's tall. I mean, I teach a lot of tall people, but the one thing about Sadie is she's completely coordinated. Right. So yes. you can be six feet tall. If you're coordinated, you can dance. That's so true. So this excuse that goes on every single week, well, you're tall and you've got long limbs and... Well, the I girl think moves, when they, coordinated. She's well, coordinated. I, I, it's like they only have a cer so much time. It's not like they're going to go into full study detail. I mean, you, you see her... You, you probably you probably are paying much more attention because you have a, a, a personal connection to this. Mm, not really, human. because I have a personal connection to all of them on the show. Yeah. So, and I've been one that's often said to them, "Don't like this, don't like that, don't like this." Well, but I just feel at the moment that the girl is coordinated. Is she tall? Absolutely. Uh -huh. Have we had tall world champions in the past? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. You know, so let's not keep giving her a phobia. You're tall and you can't right. do this and you can't do that because <laughs> you can true. do that. You can like, do Imagine, that. like, Lolo Jones from the first week getting voted off, doing those kicks and flicks. She would never... And they're about the same height and have the same long legs. I yeah. think Lolo's Sadie, a taller. Even, like, even yeah. though... That's what I'm saying. Like, Sadie, those retractions, sure, they're not, like, as super sharp as they could be, but... That, and I said it's that. Admir I that. It's yeah. admirable that she could deliver that. And especially that stripped down dance where it was like, this is just the dance and this is what it is. I was right. so proud of Mark for doing yeah. that for her because yeah, it shows that uh, Sadie can actually dance. Yeah. Uh, well, on the Sadie part, I think she's brilliant, and I, I really enjoyed the routine. But I do want to say, because I am taller, I'm 5'10 and a dancer. So I found, I, I agree with all of your perspectives. I don't disagree. I found I have to, I feel like I have to work a little bit harder to yeah. stay, you know, to be as quick. Right. Mm -hmm. But in, in that defense. You're controlling you're longer limbs. I mean, like, yeah. Yeah. just the physics of it. Yeah. yeah. I got yeah. short legs, so <laughs> there is to control. <laughs> <laughs> um, their scores overall for the jive were 8, 9, 8, 8. Uh, there was a lot of booing on the eights in the audience. I know that. There, there were some people well, it's out a there. routine. They didn't take you know three eights to get on the floor and do something this and that. They've mm -hmm. went I think on and marks were in line with their marks it. every week, so it was about right. I think. I mean, it's in line. Right. Seven mm -hmm. eights is what she normally gets. So right. I don't think she has, a surprise. I don't think she has any chance of going home though. Yeah, I, don't I, think I don't think so staying. either. I, think I mean, she's so staying. Yeah, I think the Duck yeah. Dynasty, they're they are voting her through mm -hmm. big time. And she people deserves to. Love her. She people, deserves. People just love her. They like She's so likable. We just talked about all the reasons why we love her and why we like her. And She takes it all with grace. And it's exactly. And the fact that the judges are so harsh to them, a little more than to other people, people go behind and they go, no, this is our girl. Mm -hmm. We're going to keep her in. And I, and I do feel that she's going to go all the way. So... 
I, I, I don't know if at 17 I could handle all that criticism the way no. she has on She's national TV. Great. Well, there's a, that's where her faith and family come into play. Yeah, strength, for sure. But that's good, though. I yeah. mean, I think that that's impressive. And, and I love that we've got some great, like, 17 and 19 and 20-year-olds, even in, like, Whitney and Lindsay and things like that, that are good role models. Yeah. I, it's very yeah, refreshing. Totally. I love it. Um, all right, we move on to Janelle and Val doing the quick step on this one. Now, these two were really, I have to say, they were very relaxed um, mm-hmm. most of the show. Janelle has a ton of friends in the audience and like Val was going up and meeting all of them. They weren't like I don't know if they were almost too relaxed going into the quick step. Oh. It makes me think, you know, because that's something you really have to focus I thought in he on. did a great job on his quick step. Right. Was killer. Yeah, it was just a magnificent routine. What was his goal for the, his quick step? They got to 9, 10, 10, 9, but they had that weird little slip in the middle. He caught his, his shoe. He just shoes. caught his shoe on his... Um, but Janelle didn't miss a step. She got right down. back in yeah. line with that, yeah. which I thought was kind of awesome. Yeah. And maybe the friends in the audience thing, that comfort level, I mean, that, I thought it showed because she, there was just an effortlessness that she was, that she was just flying around that floor. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That was awesome. Like I was blown yeah. away by. He's her also last raised night. his game, though, Val. I, fa- I found mm-hmm. him this season to be very creative and mm-hmm. outside of his normal box because obviously he's come from the competitive world not so long ago, being second in the world as an amateur. And you know, when he first started the show, he was in that box, and I right. really find he's outside mm-hmm. of his box now. Right. So, and I feel him challenging himself with his contemporaries and all the other things. I think he did a fantastic job. And she was amazing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, great dancer too. So good. I echo the same statements. Absolutely. You know, some fans were upset that um, they did get the 10 because of that little misstep. Uh, you Aww. know, do we do we care that it wasn't perfect and that... Um, well, A, I'm sorry. A, it was Val's misstep. She didn't miss a step. And B, it's like you step on your dress. It's that kind of force majeure type of thing. Like, oh, there was an earthquake in the studio and that's why he slipped. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like it's not technically something that they did wrong. I think it's okay that, you know, he makes that mistake as long as the rules apply to everybody else. The oh, same that's way. true. Wow. Which they never talk which about they it. <laughs> don't ever. <laughs> which they so don't. it's okay for you to do it, but not you. Yeah. So right. I have a bit of an issue with that. So yeah. You're going to let that slide on them. that person. <laughs> that could you're going to let it slide on somebody else. Here's the bottom line. It is a highly produced show. We've said it a thousand yes. times yes. on the show. And interpret that as you will, but it is highly produced. <laughs> There's lots of hands in the cookie jar doing things like this and eating cookies and putting cookies back. So Ugh, that's what's so happening. Many germs. <laughs> so many germs. So many germs. Purell. Sponsored by Purell. Hashtag germy cookie oh jar. Oh my gosh. I know that's so that's funny. funny. That says a mom. <laughs> Sticky fingers. Oh God. Um, so th- that was like the, the first half of the show of America's Choice and all of that. And Was uh, it really though America's Choice? I kept questioning. I think the costumes were and I think actually uh, America did a good job with the costumes. Voting. I really oh, liked I some see. of the costumes. I loved Val's partner. I loved Sadie's yes. little yes. dress that she had on. It was very so appropriate. Great. You know, the only one I wasn't keen on was the, the little short Sambury thing. But yeah. Leah. Her Leah. Leah was showing a little bit. I think that's what it was. It needed. When, <laughs> you said it needed more fringe. Her hoo-ha. Her hoo-ha. It needed when more fringe. Out, cover yeah. the hoo-ha. Yeah, When exactly. you can see your bits and bobs. You bits need and to cover them up. Yes, cover the bits Unless and bobs. Unless you're Whitney. <laughs> Unless you're Whitney, then I want to see it all. <laughs> <laughs> all righty. Well, before we move on to the trios, which I think were amazing, uh, we do have to remind everyone, thank you for downloading our podcast on iTunes. If you want to rate it, remember, it's five stars. I sure appreciate it. We certainly love all of your feedback. iTunes, YouTube, and Twitter, we are listening to you, trust me, every week. Thousands yes. of comments. Lots. <laughs> Lots. <laughs> I'm like, I always watch my phone even on the show, and it's like blowing up. So we really appreciate all of your support through all of these seasons with us. Uh, and with that, let's move into the trios because we saw some oh good gosh. dancing oh, in so the trios good. last yes. night. And we're going to kick it off with what I call the Vibe Tribe, Whitney, <laughs> Lindsay, and Alfonso. Yeah. <laughs> vibe Studio, Utah, in case no one's in on the joke. I don't know. Everyone's <laughs> in on the joke. Yeah, but, uh, got it. Yeah. I, I love them. So it's probably um, yeah. I mean, it was awesome. Yeah, that that that, that paso paso. was was so good. Striking, was, creative. Yeah, uh, it was one of my favorites. I loved it. It was good. Oh. Yeah. Are we all just going to be like, we loved it? It was amazing. Whitney Whitney should just be applauded for her. She is so innovative as a choreographer, and I think it's awesome to see someone so young be able to handle all that. I think she is amazing. 
I have to say also just an observation because Lindsay was on the show and then she went back mm -hmm. to the troupe, but I really also have seen a growth in Lindsay. Uh -huh. Right. And she maturity has improved a maturity, mm -hmm. a sensuality without a game because she's a good, clean girl with clean right. morals and what have you like that. So I just so thought... Let's not underestimate her in that trio. She oh, yeah. brought it yesterday. Mm -hmm. Those I mean, legs. She, legs 11, and she just, I just thought she was fantastic. Yes, and yeah. if anyone has um, not seen season nine of So You Think You Can Dance, go back and watch Lindsay do the Paso with Cole. Uh -huh. um, you will not be disappointed. So um, it is one of the highlights of that season. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you see why Lindsay's such a superstar, too. Yeah. You know, and don't don't dismiss her because she's in troop, but the, yeah. all the troop is extremely talented, and I think so we good. saw that in the trio. So I think that was awesome. Um, um, Point yeah. of Al Alfonso, he was able to handle those young, young. energetic <laughs> bunnies, that was so hot <laughs> bunnies, yeah. very very well. And I think he stood up as a as a man. You know, he dominated them. Yeah, it was hard, but he did it. <laughs> you know, one thing I, I wanted to mention. I was just thinking about this. I like Whitney with an older um, contestant. I loved her with Drew Carey uh -huh, when they did the too. switch yeah. up. I love her with Alfonso. I even loved her with Michael Waltrip. It's a good balance. Yeah, you balance the energy. And there. she's a mature. Dance. She's sexy as hell. So when she's yes. out there, and so maybe with someone like Cody Simpson who was younger and she's still in his boy body. You know, he didn't know how to control them. <laughs> he didn't know how to control them. We talked about Whitney, though. She just has that X factor, whatever yes. that X factor is. I don't think it's something she puts on. I think it's just her being. Uh -huh. Right. I mean, I can sit with her with a little hat having a conversation, and just the way she looks, she just has that yes. X factor. She does. <laughs> I did my Whitney hair flip looking at the cameras last week, so we, we, she's yeah. got it. She's got it. Um, all tens on that. I don't think yeah. anyone's going to no. yeah, dispute hands down. that whatsoever. <laughs> and then we go to probably the most epic trio I've ever seen, and I was so happy to see it in person. It was Peta and Sharna and Tommy oh doing the Samba on the yeah. Chong Airlines. I'm with you. Well, I'll I'm go with, with the Chong Airlines. First of all, it was highly entertaining. Uh -huh. Second of all, when you love somebody, it's very difficult to critique them, and he's just a doll. I just want to hug him. But he did a couple of steps in Samba. He did a little Samba bounce forward and a little Samba bounce back, and he did a whisk to the right and a whisk to the left. And let me tell you, it was darn good. Yeah. <laughs> it was darn good. Didn't do a lot of Samba, but whatever she taught him, I thought, now that is, he started flexed, he popped up and over, he did his little bounce, and I thought, yeah, that, that would do it for me. Well done. I thought it was great. Cute. I was so charmed, Anna. <laughs> uh, again, it, not so much Samba, not more like, you know, booty slapping and making faces into the camera, um, but adorable faces and and cleverly put great together. Great booties. Uh -huh. Great booties. I mean, the girls look fantastic, and yeah. it was super, super clever routine. Um, I had no problem with the routine. I think the routine was great, and he did good for what he had. The whole thing afterwards with the whole, you know, just the comments from the judges and then the Tom and then in the booth and then the, and I'm like we just like it's enough already like it just started to become overly sexual you know when you make a joke and you make kind of a cheeky comment that's yeah. a little sexual and then somebody takes it and to another level it was and hard. then somebody else picks it up and another level and you're like okay now that becomes a little bit and too that's much. the point i had a chat with somebody quite high up in the production right when we were just talking about various different things and he goes oh well you know it is a family show i'm like really really <laughs> oh, from really? all those comments because if it was a family show then you wouldn't be all that grinding and take your shirt off and shake your titties and shake your booty artem uh -huh. hasn't had a shirt all season do you, do you know what i'm saying uh -huh. artem has no clothing yeah, he has <laughs> no clothing budget tricks. for artem well, no, in the jazz, he had a suit <laughs> for a minute. No, <laughs> I mean, he ripped it off when he got to the sky. He does. It's a family show. I think that we can. Again, exactly. Yeah. Yes. Uh, anything to add, Sarai, oh, Jake, on uh, Tommy? I mean, I thought this is routine was really smart because it's like this is what we want to see him do. Yes. Like, I don't want to yeah. see him necessarily dance and do like actual steps. Like, I just want to see him have fun <laughs> and like have these two hot girls like dance around him. I think that that's a genius. He can get away with dirty old man. Yeah. Like, yeah. And, I, and so I think fine. that the people that are rooting for him. Just want to see that. Yeah. See, like him, like shaking it and being silly and like slapping Living feet on the, the butt. Like it's just cute. I think Peter's done an amazing job. Great. I mean, she's yeah. just thought she was going to go out week one or two, and she stayed in now all the way. I wouldn't be surprised if he makes the final. I, 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 I don't wouldn't either. be surprised. No. And I just think she did an amazing job. Mm -hmm. She should be really proud of her season. I loved it. I, I was totally too. entertained by it. Yeah. Got lost in his uh, world for a minute. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. You're a judge. Like, ah. It was entertaining. And yes, Jake, that's like what people 
people want to see from him. Yeah. I mean, that's it was. I'll leave it at that. Yeah. It, I had fun, but I, I <laughs> would. If anybody else had done that, yes, we would not be saying the same thing. No, no, no even no. if like a Michael Waltrip who had a lot of heart and wanted to be there, we wouldn't. We'd be like, no, that was kind of creepy. But could, they, <laughs> but could they carry it off the same way he carried it off? Mm-hmm. Because just, even when he got saved, he kind of turned around like he was in disbelief himself, like, and that's what just the heck? his beautiful character in his heart. And I think we were talking about what he is off the floor, everybody's granddad. So I think at one point he walked up to Mark and he goes, it's just a show, buddy. It's just, <laughs> just another gig. He gets it. You know, Aww. he's just... Aww. He's just Joel. wonderful. He gets it. He, gets yeah. it. he, gets he really it. does get it. I do yeah. want to say, Michael Waltrip was in the studio last night, and I got to tell you, he was in awe of like everyone dancing. He just was so like such a fan. It was wow. kind of fun to see. He was watching um, Bethany dance at one point, and he was like, oh, like her Viennese walls. Oh. It was just really That's sweet. Cool. It was really, he was right across from me, so sweet. I was watching fan reaction. All right, uh, all sevens on that. Twenty eight. We go into Leah Artem and Henry doing the Paso. Um, I did say no budget for shirts, but this was Henry was everyone wanted Henry in their trio. Yeah. They fought over Henry, and everybody wants Henry. That's because he can do anything. He's uh-huh. a good yes. build. He's a wonderful person to work with. Mm-hmm. Uh, I just think he's the most popular trio choice. Yeah. yeah, I think so, too. He was in the studio last week, and he had a lot of great things to say about everyone. He, and, yeah. and off camera, too, he just was really positive about everyone. He yeah. had, like, a 15-minute speech on Derek that was like, I, I wish I could have repeated it all. He asked yeah. me not to, but it was, like, just awesome and sweet yeah. and amazing. So, right. But about everybody. Just about so everyone, but, uh, you know, I, I yeah. think that was just one of those things that you just, like, people always think, oh, he hangs out with, you know, Tony and Val. And, nope, he, he really genuinely loves everyone. Yeah, he does. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> It's nice true. Guy. Yeah, what you see is what you get. Well, let's talk about that Paso. Shirley. I loved it. Yeah. I think she did a great job. I think they did a great job. I like the choreography. I thought it had some content. Mm-hmm. Um, mm, the production was quite good. Yeah, I thought. Did you think? I thought everything was good. I, I liked their their outfits and their uh, man thong. I guess that's how they called it. Back thong. Back thong. <laughs> um, I mean, they the go, the guys looked hot. She see in this dress to me, she looked age appropriate. Uh huh. And this was it was still sexy, and sensuous, but appropriate and elegant. And I feel that was more of her dance. It was dramatic, but still had this class flavor yeah. in it which I this is what I want to see from Leah and um, I just wish this this flavor was more in the other like her Argentine tango had that flavor her yeah contemporary had that flavor I wish the other dance it's just unfortunate because like when you get something like samba or it is salsa on, salsa it's all built on actions isn't it I mean yes. you could, is a walking dance you don't right. require any body action yes Argentine tango it's just whether you can flick your knees and stay in that nice line yeah and when you get those moving rhythm dances, yeah. those sensual moves, they've got to be executed with taste, I think. Yeah, that's true. Can't can't push it yeah. overly overly push it like fake. It, you just have to kind of feel it. Yeah. And uh, and and again, that's why Samba wasn't uh, so good and then Pasta Doubly was good. And mm-hmm. It was a good dance for her, so I don't really have much to add. What do you think about Leah? Because I think she went out on a good note. I think that I mean it, who wouldn't want to go out on that note? Like, that's mm-hmm. an amazing way to leave your legacy on the show, I think. Mm-hmm. And I think that she, this is how she was supposed to be dancing the whole time. Like, yeah. very refined and tasteful. I mean, like, yeah. that's the word we keep throwing around. But it's true, like, that she needed to be more tasteful in terms of choices and what she was choosing to do on the show. But I'm really happy that she went off on this because but do she you killed feel, it. But do you feel that she kept saying that, you know, I wanted to do something that would challenge me, something that's different. I wonder if she was experimenting. And Possibly. that was her Possibly. opportunity to go, can I do this? Would, would it be okay? And why not? I mean, but she's I done... think that when you experiment, you should do it week one through week five and don't try to reinvent the wheel when they try to get into the finals. Well, I mean, and if you look at Janelle, like she's, like her whole thing was about being like sexy and like her and Val, like, are they or aren't they? And, but you've seen the progression of like, I can be really sexual and really strong, but I can also be like really subtle and very unique. And with Leah, I think it's more like extremes. Like every week is right. like, I'm really emotional about my father and then I'm really sexual like this. And it's just, it doesn't, there's not a progression that happened naturally. America gets confused. Too, yeah, honestly. it does. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's confusing. And, it's really confusing. And I think, like, last season, I, I latched a lot onto Candace a lot because I just was like, she said, this is who I am. Mm-hmm. And she was that all through the season. Even if changed. she was sad, she was still just authentic. And mm-hmm. Tommy, same thing. Like, this is who I am, and, and that's what you do. Yeah. Great number. I agree with Jake. That is a good way for her to go out. But I couldn't take my eyes off the boys. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at those. I mean, not just because my body's like, I'm sorry. No. Well, they're the so truth. strong. I mean, the, yes, obviously they're good looking guys, um, and I like both of them, but they're so good. I yeah. could not yes. take my eyes off of them. Well, it was overpowering on someone so tiny. And it's also to give a, a celebrity dancer a pasta doble that is a male dance and give her these two fantastic dancers. It's it's kind of strategic strategy isn't the best. In well, it's sense. hard also maybe f with their experience of being on the show to unwind it a little bit so she shines yes. yeah. a little bit more, you know. So all the boys have been through that at some point, right. but they kind of find the way where the celebrity shines. Yeah, we've seen that. Yeah. We've seen it with other pros too. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Mm -hmm. All nines though, fantastic yeah, scores. Uh, Bethany, Derek, and Tony doing Argentine tango, and uh, <laughs> I loved this trio. And I, you know, everyone's always like, I, "How was Tony picked?" and everything. But you know, you, you have to take a look at who's left and when you're picking and right. what's going to work with Bethany and you also have to get height and things like that and I'm like mm -hmm. it made sense and you see when it made sense once you see the choreography mm -hmm. right I think Tony f for me Tony's just great he's what I call Mr. Reliable mm -hmm. you know he's there he can do it he can lift he can I remember when he picked Julianne up and threw her and she flew over his head and he can do almost anything and I do call him Mr. Reliable and <laughs> I adore Derek and I adore everything he does in his creativity, but somehow it missed the Argentine tango point for me a little bit yesterday. Ooh, mm. what, what was it missing? So it was missing a little bit more enclosed hold, so mm. a little bit swapping partners maybe, and flicks and kicks and a, a quick pivot here and a quick pivot there. So the production, the set behind, the outfit and everything, in actual fact, at one point, I was because I was a little confused myself, now hang on, which dance are we doing? And then, of course, it was the Argentine tango, and normally with Derek and his Argentine tango, it's very clear and precise what it is. Right. So the set was great. The dancing is executed amazing. I thought Bethany carried it off. But I would have liked to have seen from Derek a little bit more Argentine mm. tango. Interesting. Right. Because he is a star at anything he does like that. And he can flick and kick and turn and go. And the Argentine tango is that. It's a little handheld here. It gets very close in. It's quite a sensual dance. It's quite right. an in-dance and closed, as where this was very open and out. Yeah. So that well, was just my you, thoughts. I agree with you. It was very powerful. It was... Yeah. It was very like impact 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 everything and there were a couple of moments that I felt and I don't know if that was done on purpose for the visual effect because there were a couple of pieces that were you know here comes another run day and here's another run day and here's another run it was like a repetitive choreography mm. which also made me kind of like okay but I've, I've seen just now that piece and I just seen that and they kept switching her which I thought was fun but it was almost like it didn't allow the story to happen, which is so important for Argentine tango, like you say, and that's why to have it a little bit more subtle and a little bit longer, maybe with a partner. Well, it could be like that you're in a club or a dance studio or something, and there's these two males, and this young lady comes in, and the Argentine tango, and it's a bit like, well, do I want to dance with you, or do I want to dance with you? Right. Or it kind of missed that kind of in element, mm -hmm. that personal, we're in our own little fishbowl, let's kind of close this hole in, it's only us in the world, nobody else is watching. Right. So, although it was very, and I think he uses the choreography that she can do well. Yes. Mm -hmm. I, for me, would have just liked a little bit more closed in, and a bit more of what I know Derek's famous for, and that's the flicks and the the kicks and the turns and the goes. Right. But do you think that's also because of the music? The ch music choice that he was given? Uh... I mean, that was a very powerful song. That it's was a powerful not song, an Argentine tango. When they throw tango. you a lemon, you make lemonade. That is true. And the idea of the song was it was Argentine tango. Okay. So, again, sticking to the rules, it's got to be one rule for one. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And one rule for everybody else. Oh, yeah. So, right. the idea was Argentine tango. If somebody else does it and doesn't put Argentine tango in and they're not blonde and blue eyes, <laughs> then they're going to. And I love him. I love you, Derek. You know, I do. You're my boy. You're my boy. But at the end of the day, Yes, it's Argentine tango, and right. they, you're going to critique on that. And I get the power, and I get the you've you've progressed, and I get all that. But the title was Argentine tango. Right. All right. Well, uh, we only have like five minutes left of the show, and there's another show coming in behind us, and we've got a lot to talk about. So I'm going to speed this up. Let's do it. Nine, ten, ten, nine, thirty-eight on that. Um, Sadie, Mark. Emma doing the Fox trot. I want to get your opinion on this because this was stunning to watch in person. Mm -hmm. Well, I cried. 
I love the music. I think that America would have loved the music. It was a popular piece of music. And I think that she did very well. It is very difficult to switch places. It's yes. very difficult to dance with somebody else. And he did it quite intricately. One minute he was here and one minute he was well, there. Well, you even saw Emma getting confused Clothing, during the... Yeah. everything. I thought she handled that probably her best... Well, one of her best numbers. I yeah. think that she was just graceful. To, to me, she's just like Grace Kelly. Mm -hmm. She's just class personified. Yeah. She's a shiny diamond. I don't know what else to say. I, and everything from the costuming to everything yeah. else was everything. just... Uh, absolutely so stunning. I mean, she just looked like a professional. Like she matched Emma the whole TM time. And then the whole thing where she like make camera contact, like she she's smart beyond her years, like way right. beyond her years. It's, Very intuitive. It's fascinating. But Very it's sincere, intuitive. you know? Yes. Uh -huh. What you see is what you yeah. get in. That's just how she is. So. Right. Well, was she lovely. okay after the show? Because I know she was a little distraught. Um, she was a little bit distraught because I think instead of she missed a small piece. Yeah. But what was... Uh, what, talking to Anna, what's important is that she managed to keep going. Mm -hmm. So, you know, she went and there was, she had to do this twice. She missed a little piece. But when I played it back, it, it I, wasn't an over big mistake. I it didn't really something. even notice. I had all. to watch it again to see like what their moment was. And I do want to say, my boyfriend Tom Bergeron, um, they might not have noticed, <laughs> is what he whispered to <laughs> Sandy. Right. And I exactly thought that that right. was great. Tom yeah. Bergeron is officially my boyfriend now. <laughs> Uh, they got a perfect score of 40, so obviously they, the judges were not bothered by that. Yeah. 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 No. Yeah, and Sweet. I just Which really... Was nice. You was know, nice. considering all that Mark was up against, I mean, he really created a beautiful piece. They deserve yeah. that. Yes. yes. Yeah. Um, Janelle, Val, and Keo doing the salsa. I almost thought this felt like a freestyle. Yes. It was, like, Afri it was like African jazz. Yes. Kind of. yes. Yeah. I mean, I loved it was every beautiful. second of it. Yeah. I love the music. And could have been done on a freestyle. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. I mean, that's what I mean for him outside the box. You know, that's unusual for him. Normally it's like the strict dancing, but yeah, I loved it. Another great number. And I love that we got to see more of what Keo's capable of. Yeah. He's a really dynamic dancer. Mm -hmm. And she has progressed beyond anything. I, I wasn't the biggest fan of hers throughout the whole show, but I'm such a fan now. She's, I think she's fabulous. Another one that's steadily climbing, which mm -hmm. is really nice. Um, they were adjusting her hair quite a bit during the commercial break. They were like bobby pinning it, so I think they were <laughs> afraid it was going to all in her face. Um, <laughs> there was 10-9, 10-10. It was Len that was like, I needed a little more salsa content. Possibly. Possibly. Yeah. 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 So they were such a big production that maybe it could maybe have been a, a bit more. Salsa but very entertaining, I'm sure America will have enjoyed that. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Exactly. Um, we don't want to wrap show. Yeah, we don't want to wrap up this show without um, talking about Mark's music because I know it's been a big push this year. I interviewed yes. him on uh, was National Dance Day about it, so yeah. it was kind of fun at Universal Studios. Well, he had his song out to National Dance Day of Get My Name. It went to number 24 on iTunes. Wow. And then he released the song Miss Incredible about all the amazing women that are all around the world, the mums in America. You're all incredible. Incredible, the young girls, and it was a song dedicated to women, so please download that. And then his new EP, Kicking Clouds, Kicking Clouds. <laughs> Every download he gets, he gets a little tick, so any mom out there that's got children in the entertainment field, if you can download Kicking Clouds and have a little listen. But please listen to the song, Why? <laughs> and uh, it's kind of special a little bit to my heart and just let me know on my news feeds what you thought of that particular song so it, I'm not going to say any more about that song it's the most beautiful song I think he's ever written along with some of his other things but if you can download that Kicking Clouds and give that child a little bit of a boost along because that's his passion he loves dancing but his music is his passion So oh I love to hear that yeah. Yeah. and awesome. he plays a lot here in Los Angeles too all the so, time, yes. Yes. All the time so if you're in Los Angeles be sure to try and check out his show um, Shirley thank you so much for joining thank us you. It's such a pleasure having you. Every season you come on, the fans adore you. I've enjoyed it, and I thank everybody who stays on my Twitter and, what is it, Facebook and Instagram and all those things and all the nice comments and some of the mums out there. We had, you know, blogging and... Right helping get over some of those bad marks and I appreciate that. From one month oh. to another, thank you. Well, tell all the fans where they can find you if they're not following you on Twitter or anything else like that yet. Uh, you know, I never know that, but I am Shirley Ball Shirley Annette Ballas on Twitter, I believe. Um. And Shirley Ballas on Instagram and Shirley Ballas Facebook. So, and I like to take mummies on my Facebook because right now I'm doing a weight loss challenge, so I like to bring in the mummies. So anybody out there, send me a private message you'd like to join the Facebook. Oh, nice. I love that. Surrey, cool. where can we find you? At Surrey Serrano, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. On the hot seat, oh. Jake Dupree. On, in, on Instagram at Jake Dupree and on Twitter at Jake underscore Dupree. Uh, mm. Anna. On Twitter, A Trebunskaya, Trebunskaya on Instagram, Anna Trebunskaya on Facebook and the website. And I'm at Kristen Burt on Twitter and the Kristen Burt on Facebook and Instagram. Next week, Mandy Moore will be in the house. We're so excited to have her. First time here for Dancing with the Stars. She's been on So You Think with us. But we'll see you guys next week, Dancing with the Stars, here on AfterBuzz TV.
from executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff. We would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later! <laughs> the views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principal. Thrilled is a little scary, but it's not too scary. You know, it's got this dress theme. It's got so many different themes. It's the real deal. To see him get sevens, the same as Tommy Chong, and I love Tommy Chong. Yeah. Yeah. Was, I just did not understand that. And I know that there's politics and this and that and the other, you know, they say there isn't, but I'm not so sure. But <laughs> there just, is. Absolutely. <laughs> I'll say it. Couldn't be a seven. It couldn't be. She didn't trip. She And then Carrie Ann said something about she missed a foot. She didn't miss a footing. I played it back six times. I mean, if you're not sure what a twist turn is, Carrie Ann, you need to really have another look again because that girl did not lose her footing. Ooh, she didn't that. lose her footing. She didn't lose. If she did, I'll be the first one to say, you know what? That wasn't very good. I always tell them, Mark, Derek, Val, all the boys, Tony Devalani, all my boys, if they'll come, what did you think? No, tonight wasn't your night, but I'm sorry, that night belonged to them. And we go through this all the time each season, too, of like what a Tommy Chong seven looks like versus what a Sadie <laughs> Robertson seven looks right. like. And it's not fair, honestly. No. Well, she's been in the bottom two, two or three times. She's got the lowest scores I think of anybody been I mean she's had one or two good scores I think Julianne's probably been about the fairest she kind of you know says it as it is and I found her critiques to be quite quite interesting she's mm. given some really nice constructive criticism to but people to, take. to just throw up his arms like this you know and then have to come back the following week and say we do admire your creativity <laughs> right. we do like this and Mark's face was a little bit you know like, like what really? do you mean like I mean what do you want here you know? make up your mind well I um let's go back to the jive from yesterday um uh, it was a family show then you wouldn't be all that grinding and take your shirt off and shake your titties and shake your booty uh -huh. Artem hasn't had a shirt all season do you, do you know what I'm saying <laughs> and Artem has no clothing yeah he has <laughs> Well, well no, in the jazz, budget. he had a suit <laughs> for a minute. No, <laughs> I mean, he ripped it off when he got to the sky. He does. It's a family show. I think that we can. Again, yeah. exactly. Yes. Uh, anything to add, Sari, oh, Jake, on uh, Tommy? I mean, I thought this is routine was really smart because it's like this is what we want to see him do. Yes. Like, I don't want to yeah. see him necessarily dance and do like actual steps. Like, I just want to see him have fun <laughs> and like have these two hot girls like dance around him. I think that that's a genius. He can get away with dirty old man. Yeah. Like, yeah. And, I, and so I think fine. that the people that are rooting for him. Just want to see that. Yeah. See, like him, like shaking it and being silly and like slapping Living feet on the, the butt. Like it's just cute. I think Peter's done an amazing job. Great I mean, she did. just thought she was going to go out week one or two, and she stayed in now all the way. I wouldn't be surprised if he makes the final. I, 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 I don't wouldn't either. be surprised. No. And I just think she did an amazing job. Mm -hmm. She should be really proud of her season. I loved it. I, I was totally too. entertained by it. Yeah. Got lost in his uh, world for a minute. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. It was You're a judge. Like, ah! It was entertaining. And yes, Jake, that's like what people want to see from him. Yeah. I mean, that's. It was, I'll leave it at that. Yeah. It, I had fun, but I, I <laughs> would. If anybody else had done that, yes, we would not be saying the same thing. No, no, no even no. if like a Michael Waltrip who had a lot of heart and wanted to be there, we wouldn't. We'd be like, no. That was kind of creepy. Yeah. <laughs> Broke my reporter mold and was like, you look amazing and we were all talking about it and you're gorgeous and like don't think that you're competing against 17 year old Sadie or 18 year old Bethany or and she's more of a, she's a natural dancer as compared to any of those girls yeah. on the show right. so. yeah um, so that was where the one thing I noticed uh, just seeing her in person she's so wispy and tiny um, very ballet very up and, and it Seeing it live, and you know, versus watching on the TV screen, I was like, "Oh yeah, I just wanted to get a little bit more down." And mm -hmm. we see that in the trio later right. on. But I'm like, she is wispy and tiny and petite. And oh, she can shift. She's a good mover. I yeah, mean, she's she's trained. But I wanted like get in plie but a little I, bit more I agree sometimes. With you and that those, you know, whether Autumn did it, whether she chose to do it. I mean, I think the professionals have a huge say over. Costumes. At the end of the day, what costumes mm -hmm. and facial expressions and things like that, mm -hmm. they can push that. But I just, it just, I mean, I'm mm. 54 and I have to do things and lecture and go and put on costumes, but it's always appropriate for the, for, you're not 18 anymore. So yeah. it's appropriate and people can still, 
love something that's got quality in it. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. So I don't Sorry. think you need to shove it in people's face. I've, I've exactly. been aligned with Jake these last several weeks, and I you know, was watching last night, and I was so confused by everything <laughs> that we're talking about. Just confused, because I'm like, well, is it her? Is this who she is? Or is this put on? Because I, every week it was getting really old for me, because I was very uncomfortable the whole routine watching her. I'm like, with her face and her lips. and One rule for everybody else. I, so the I, idea I was Argentine it. tango. If somebody else does it and doesn't put Argentine tango in and they're not blonde and blue eyes, <laughs> then they're going to... And I love him. I love you, Derek. You know, I do. You're my boy. You're my boy. But at the end of the day... Yes, it's Argentine tango, and right. they, you're going to critique on that. And I get the power, and I get the you've you've progressed, and I get all that. But the title was Argentine tango. Right. All right. Well, uh, we only have like five minutes left of the show, and there's another show coming in behind us, and we've got a lot to talk about. So I'm going to speed this up. Let's do it. Nine, ten, ten, nine, thirty-eight on that. Um, Sadie, Mark. Emma doing the fox trot. I want to get your opinion on this because this was stunning to watch in person. Mm-hmm. Well, I cried. Aww. I love the music. I think that America would have loved the music. It was a popular piece of music. And I think that she did very well. It is very difficult to switch places. It's yes. very difficult to dance with somebody else. And he did it quite intricately. One minute he was here and one minute he was well, there. Well, you even saw Emma getting confused Clothing, during the yeah. everything. I thought she handled that probably her best, well, one of her best numbers. I yeah. think that she was just graceful. To, to me, she's just like Grace Kelly. Mm-hmm. She's just class personified. Yeah, she's a shiny diamond. I don't know what else to say. I, and everything from the costuming to everything yeah, else was everything just uh, absolutely yeah. stunning. I mean, she just looked like professional. Like she matched Emma the whole TM time, movie. and then the whole thing Beautiful. where she like make camera contact. Like she she's smart beyond her years. Like way right. beyond her years. It's, Very intuitive. It's fascinating. But Very it's sincere, intuitive. you know. Yes. Uh-huh. What you see is what you yeah. get, and that's just how she is. So. Right. Was she okay after the show? Because and Lindsay and things like that that are good role models. Yeah. I, it's very yeah, refreshing. It's I love it. Um, all right, we move on to Janelle and Val doing the quick step on this one. Now these two were really, I have to say, they were very relaxed um, mm-hmm. most of the show. Janelle has a ton of friends in the audience, and like Val was going up and meeting all of them. They weren't like I don't know if they were almost too relaxed going into the quick step. Oh. It makes me think, you know, because that's something you really have to focus in on. I thought he did a great job on his quick step. Right. It was killer. Yeah, it was just a magnificent routine. What was his goal for his quick step? They got to 9, 10, 10, 9, but they had that weird little slip in the middle. He caught his, his shoe. He just shoes. caught his shoe on his... Um, but Janelle didn't miss a step. She got right all. back in yeah. line with that, yeah. which I thought was kind of awesome. Yeah. And maybe the friends in the audience thing, that comfort level, I mean, that, I thought it showed because she... There was just an effortlessness that she was... That she was just flying around that floor. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That was awesome. Like I was blown yeah. away by He's her. He's also last raised night. his game, though, Val. I, fa- I found mm-hmm. him this season to be very creative and mm-hmm. outside of his normal box because obviously he's come from the competitive world not so long ago, being second in the world as an amateur. And you know, when he first started the show, he was in that box. And I right. really find he's outside mm-hmm. of his box now. Right. So, and I feel him challenging himself with his contemporaries and all the other things. I think he did a fantastic job. And she was amazing. Yeah, yeah, great dancer too. So good. I echo the same statements. Absolutely. You know, some fans were upset that um, they did get the 10 because of that little misstep. Uh, You know, appropriate people can still love something that's got quality in it. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. So I don't sorry. think you need to shove it in people's face. I've, I've exactly. been aligned with Jake these last several weeks and I you know, was watching last night and I was so confused by everything <laughs> that we're talking about. Just confused because I'm like well is it her? Is this who she is? Or is this put on? Because I, every week it was getting really old for me because I was very uncomfortable the whole routine watching her. I'm like with her face and her lips and kind of everything. I'm like what? And, and she's somebody I've wanted as we talked about, to you know, to see kind of elevate and continue to get better and better and better, and I was rooting for, but um, found her uh, awkward. Not her awkward, but pa- watching it was awkward. I wonder if me. she's confused. You know, when you're um, confused in your own head as as a dancer, you're not sure maybe yeah. what the choreographer wants you to do, and you it starts registering in in weird ways and manifests itself not only through movement but through the emotion. I wonder if she just didn't have a clear vision of like what was expected. I don't know, but when when it was over and they're running up, you know, the stairs to go get their scores and things, and I was watching, you know, I always watch her, and I mean, she's so excited and happy, and mm-hmm. you know, and whatever. So it's like, well, maybe that is who she is, and she's just so excited that that's how it's coming out. Yeah. I don't know. It, it it really changed. I think the whole thing changed when when they had to switch partners, and I think that she saw Artem with Janelle and was like, this little hot little ticket is, you know, I, I don't know if she was trying to emulate that or trying to be that, but that's kind. Of 
Uh, well, on the Sadie part, I think she's brilliant, and I, I really enjoyed the routine. But I do want to say, because I am taller, I'm 5'10 <laughs> and a dancer. So I found, I, I agree with all of your perspectives. I don't disagree. I found I have to, I feel like I have to work a little bit harder to yeah. stay you know, to be as quick, right? Mm -hmm. But in, in that defense, you're controlling you're longer limbs. I mean, like yeah. Yeah. just the physics of it. Yeah, I got yeah. short legs, so there ain't much to control. <laughs> um, their scores overall for the jive were eight, nine, eight, eight. Uh, there was a lot of booing on the eights in the audience. I know that. There, there are some people well, it's out a there. Routine. Right? They didn't take you know three eights to get on the floor and do something this and that. They've mm -hmm. went I think on and were in line with their marks it. every week. So it was about right. I think. I mean, it's in line. Right. Seven mm -hmm. eights is what she normally gets. So right. I don't I mean, think she's surprised. I don't think she has any chance of going home though. Yeah, I don't, I think I don't think so staying. either. I, think I mean, she's so staying. Yeah, I think the Duck yeah. Dynasty. They're they're voting her through mm -hmm. big time, and she people deserves to. She people, deserves. People just love her. They like. She's so likable. We just talked about all the reasons why we love her and why we like her and. She takes it's, it all with grace. And it's exactly, and the fact that the judges are so harsh to them, a little more than to other people, people go behind and they go, no, this is our girl. Mm -hmm. We're going to keep her in. And I, and I do feel that she's going to go all the way. So I, I I don't know if at 17 I could handle all that criticism the way no. she has on she's national TV. Great. Well, there's a, that's where her faith and family come into play. Yeah. Strength, yeah, for but sure. That's my favorite dances of his because yeah. I felt like it combined his personality, like his hip hoppy flair that they always kind of do, but the technique I thought was just like so on point. I don't know. I was just blown away by that. I actually right. watched it like three times. Uh, yeah. Sir, do you think anyone could beat them this season? Uh, hot seat there. Lots there came, a lot. Yeah, Lynn. Lynn. Right? <laughs> um, uh, well. Yes, because of the way the show is structured and mm -hmm. formatted. Uh, should anybody beat them? I don't know. That's up for debate. I mean, he, his level is so high, mm -hmm. his right. abilities. Well, he came in high, didn't he, from week it's one? So high. Right. Yes. And he's maintained Very. it. So it's difficult if you take somebody like Sadie, who's done no dancing, who has to start as a beginner, and right. then come all the way up to the level that she's done. Yeah. Yeah. You know, So it's a little bit It's hard to judge, really, isn't yeah. it? You've got the beginner moving up to here. You've got the professional, so to speak, dancer started here and who's remained there. Right. Yeah. So, I know. Alfonso was in a commercial with Michael Jackson. That's like correct. that's amazing. And, and he was on Broadway yeah. as a kid in Tap Dance Kid. I, and I heard they're doing tap it? for their freestyle. Yeah. I also wow. read, an, I read an article I'll recently. Die. That's awesome. I read an article though in the last few days that he said he didn't really have much training at all. Really? So, <laughs> well, yeah, well in terms of like I guess in terms of like a partner dance, I don't think that he sure, has any maybe. experience. Sure, partner, partner, you've learned how to do choreography, you know how to count, and you that's right. know what rhythm is. You're a dancer. And, here we go. And you know to music. Rehearsal studio etiquette. It, like how to learn all of all of exactly. that. There's so many different things with but that. But I have to say, he's a very charming man, he and is. I think that helps. Yes. I mean, on off, he's the same. On the floor, off the floor, meeting me and meeting. Be disappointed. So um, it is one of the highlights of that season, yeah. Yeah. and and you see why Lindsay's such a superstar too. Yeah. You know, and don't don't dismiss her because she's in troop. That all yeah. the troop is extremely talented, and I think so we saw good. that in the trio. So I think that was awesome. On um, um, point yeah. of Al Alfonso, he was able to handle those. Young, Young, energetic, <laughs> bunnies, <That was> so <laughs> bunnies, yeah. very, very well, and I think he stood up as a, as a man. You know, he dominated them. Yeah, it was hard, but he did it. <laughs> you know, one thing I, I wanted to mention. I was just thinking about this. I like Whitney with an older um, contestant. I loved her with Drew Carey uh -huh, when they did too. the switch yeah. up. I love her with Alfonso. I even loved her with Michael Waltrip. It's a good balance. Yeah, you balance the energy. And though. she's a mature dancer. She's sexy as hell. So when she's yes. out there, and so maybe with someone like Cody Simpson who was younger and not, she's still in his boy body. You know. He didn't know how to control them. <laughs> he didn't know how to control them. We talked about Whitney, though. She just has that X factor, whatever yes. that X factor is. I don't think it's something she puts on. I think it's just her being. Uh -huh. right. I mean, I can sit with her with a little hat having a conversation, and just the way she looks, she just has that yes. X factor. She does. <laughs> I did my Whitney hair flip looking at the cameras last week, so we, we, she's got it. She's got it. Um, all tens on that. I don't think yeah. anyone's going to no. yeah. dispute yeah. that whatsoever. <laughs> and then we go to probably the most epic trio I've ever seen, and I was so happy to see it in person. It was Pita and Sharna and Tommy oh doing the Samba on the yeah. Chong Airlines. I'm with you. Well, I'm with the combo. It was perfect music. It was perfect outfit for him. Yeah. She looked beautiful. Um, was perfect mix of a little bit of uh, 
stuff in hold and a, and a little bit of jazzy stuff in the old Hollywood. So it was a really clever routine. I thought the marks were well deserved. I was quite impressed with him actually leading her yeah. and supporting her and carrying himself in in a in a very sort of proper ballroom way. So that was like, woo. Go. He talked about his confidence in hold too, because he was like, I, I didn't feel it before, and he's like, right. I'm, yeah, he's like, I feel like I settled into it this time. Jake, the male celebrities have such a hard time because it's they they truly have to learn to lead, and I think he really did an awesome job doing that. But I also this was honestly one of my favorite dances of his because yeah. I felt like it combined his personality, like his hip hoppy flair that they always kind of do, but the technique I thought was just like so on point. I don't know. I was just blown away by that. I actually right. watched it like three times. Uh, yeah. Sir, do you think anyone could beat them this season? Uh, hot seat there. Lots came, is a yeah. lot. Yeah. Right? <laughs> um, uh, well, yes, because of the way the show is structured and mm -hmm. formatted. Uh, should anybody beat them? I don't know. That's up for debate. I mean, he, his level is so high. Mm -hmm. His right. abilities. Well, he came in high, didn't he, from week this one? So high. Right. Yes. And he's maintained Very. it, so it's difficult if you take somebody like Sadie, who's done no dancing, who has to start as a beginner, and right. then come all the way up to the level that she's done. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so it's a little bit, it's hard to judge really, isn't yeah. it? They're all incredible, the young girls, and it was a song dedicated to women, so please download that. And then his new EP, Kicking Clouds, Kicking Clouds. <laughs> Every download he gets, he gets a little tick. So any mom out there that's got children in the entertainment field, if you can download Kicking Clouds and have a little listen. But please listen to the song Why. <laughs> and uh, it's kind of special a little bit to my heart. And just let me know on my news feeds what you thought of that particular song. So it, I'm not going to say any more about that song. It's the most beautiful song I think he's ever written, along with some of his other things. But if you can download that Kicking Clouds and give that child a little bit of a boost along, because that's his passion. He loves dancing, but his music is his passion. So. Oh, I love to hear that. Yeah. And he plays a lot here in Los Angeles, too. All the so, time, yes. yes. All the time. So if you're in Los Angeles, be sure to try and check out his show. Um, Shirley, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. It's such a pleasure having you. Every season you come on, the fans adore you. I've enjoyed it, and I thank everybody who stays on my Twitter and, what is it, Facebook and Instagram and all those things and all the nice comments and some of the mums out there. We had, you know, blogging and... Right helping get over some of those bad marks and I appreciate that. From one month oh. to another, thank you. Well, tell all the fans where they can find you if they're not following you on Twitter or anything else like that yet. Uh, you know, I never know that, but I am Shirley Ball Shirley Annette Ballas on Twitter, I believe. Um. And Shirley Ballas on Instagram and Shirley Ballas Facebook. So, and I like to take mummies on my Facebook because right now I'm doing a weight loss challenge, so I like to bring in the mummies. So anybody had to be there, we wouldn't. We'd be like, no, that was kind of creepy. But could, they, <laughs> but could they carry it off the same way he carried it off? Mm -hmm. Because just, even when he got saved, he kind of turned around like he was in disbelief himself. Like, and that's just his heck? beautiful character in his heart. And I think we we're talking about what he is off the floor, everybody's granddad. So I think at one point he walked up to Mark and he goes, it's just a show, buddy. It's just <laughs> Just another gig. <laughs> he gets it. You know, Aww. he's just... Aww. He's just Chilla. wonderful. He gets it. He, gets yeah. it. he, gets he really it. does get it. I do yeah. want to say, Michael Waltrip was in the studio last night, and I got to tell you, he was in awe of like everyone dancing. He just was so like such a fan. It was wow. kind of fun to see. He was watching um, Bethany dance at one point, and he was like, oh, like her Viennese walls. Oh. It was just really That's sweet. Cool. It was really, he was right across from me, so sweet. I was watching fan reaction. All right, uh, all sevens on that. Twenty eight. We go into Leah Artem and Henry doing the Paso. Um, I did say no budget for shirts, but this was Henry was everyone wanted Henry in their trio. Yeah. They fought over Henry, and everybody wants Henry. That's because he can do anything. He's a good build. He's a wonderful person to work with. Mm -hmm. uh, I just think he's the most popular trio choice. Yeah. yeah, I think so, too. He was in studio last week, and he had a lot of great things to say about everyone. He, and, yeah. and off camera, too, he just was really positive about everyone. He yeah. had, like, a 15-minute speech on Derek that was like, I, I wish I could have repeated it all. He asked yeah. me not to, but it was, like, just awesome and sweet yeah. and amazing. So, right. But about everybody. Just about FYI. everyone, but, uh, you know, I, I yeah. think that was just one of those things that you just, like, people always think, oh, he hangs out with, you know, Tony and Val. No, nope. yeah, yeah, I know, yeah. right? <laughs> um, well, yes, because of the way the show is structured and mm -hmm. formatted. Uh, should anybody beat them? I don't know. That's up for debate. I mean, he, his level is so high, mm -hmm. his right. abilities. Well, he came in high, didn't he, from week this one? So high. Right. Yes. And he's maintained Very. it, so it's difficult if you take somebody like Sadie, who's done no dancing, who has to start as a beginner, and right. then come all the way up to the level that she's done. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so it's a little bit, it's hard to judge really, isn't yeah. it? You've got the beginner moving up to here, you've got the professional, so to speak, dancer started here and who's remained there. 
Right. So, you I know, know, Alfonso was in a commercial with Michael Jackson. That's like correct. that's amazing. And, and he was on Broadway yeah. as a kid and tap dance kid. I, and I heard they're doing tap like, for their freestyle. Yeah. I also wow. read an, I read an article. Oh, die! That's awesome. I read an article though in the last few days that he said he didn't really have much training at all. Really? So, <laughs> well, yeah. in, well, in Hard terms of like, I guess in terms of like a partner dance, I don't think that he sure, has any maybe. experience. Partner, partner, you've learned how to do choreography. You know how to count, and you that's right. know what rhythm is. You're a dancer. And, here we go. You and you know, to music. rehearsal studio etiquette, like how to learn, all of all of that. Exactly. There's so many different things with but that. But I have to say, he's a very charming man, he and is. I think that helps. Yes. I mean, on off, he's the same. On the floor, off the floor, meet him here, meet him there. He's, he's just a funny. very nice person. And, and the you, Fresh Prince cast was there. Yeah. Last and night. you root for him too yeah. because yeah. he's so he seems very lovely. So yeah. I love that. Yeah, yes. and, and that's kind of been nice to just to see. Like it, it's sweet. Everyone loves it. Like I literally, this was me in the audience. I'm like, where's the baby? Where's the baby? Because they always oh. show their wife and baby. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I did my Whitney hair flip looking at the cameras last week. So Beautiful. we, we, yeah. she's got it. She's got it. Um, all tens on that. I don't think yeah. anyone's gonna no. yeah, yeah. Hands dispute down. that whatsoever. <laughs> and then we go to probably the most epic trio I've ever seen, and I was so happy to see it in person. It was Peta and Sharna and Tommy oh, doing the samba. On the yeah. Chong Airlines. I'm with you. Well, I'll I'm go with, with the Chong Airlines. First of all, it was highly entertaining. Uh -huh. Second of all, when you love somebody, it's very difficult to critique them. And he's just a doll. I just want to hug him. But he did a couple of steps in samba. He did a little samba bounce forward and a little samba bounce back. And he did a whisk to the right and a whisk to the left. And let me tell you, it was darn good. Yeah. It was darn good. Didn't do a lot of samba, but whatever she taught him, I thought, now that is, he started flexed, he popped up and over, he did his little bounce. And I thought, yeah, that, that would do it for me. Well done. I thought it was great. Cute. I was so charmed, Anna. Uh, again, it, not so much samba, not more like, you know, booty slapping and making faces into the camera, um, but adorable faces and and cleverly put great together. Great booties. Uh -huh. Great booties. I mean, the girls look fantastic, and yeah. it was super, super clever routine. Um, I had no problem with the routine. I think the routine was great, and he did good for what he had. The whole thing afterwards with the whole, you know, just... The comments. This is how she was supposed to be dancing the whole time, like yeah. very refined and tasteful. I mean, like yeah. that's the word we keep throwing around, but it's true. Like that, she needed to be more tasteful in terms of choices and what she was choosing to do on the show. But I'm really happy that she went off on this because. But do she you feel? It. Do you feel that she kept saying that you know I wanted to do something that would challenge me, something that's different? I wonder if she was experimenting, and Possibly. that was her Possibly. opportunity to go. Can I do this? Would would they be okay? And why not? I mean, but she's I done. think that when you experiment, you should do it week one through week five, and don't try to reinvent the wheel when they try to get into the finals. Well, I mean, and if you look at Janelle, like she's like her whole thing was about being like sexy, and, like her. And about like are they or aren't they and but you've seen the progression of like I can be really sexual and really strong but I can also be like really subtle and very unique and with Leah I think it's more like extremes like every week is right like I'm really emotional about my father and then I'm really sexual like this and it's just it doesn't there's not a progression that happened naturally America gets confused too, yeah, yeah. It does. yeah. yeah. it's confusing you? And, it's really confusing. And I think, like, last season, I, I latched a lot onto Candace a lot because I just was like, she said, this is who I am. Mm -hmm. And she was that all through the season. Mm -hmm. Even if she was sad, she was still just authentic. And mm -hmm. Tommy, same thing. Like, this is who I am, and, and that's what you do. Yeah. Great number. I agree with Jake. That's a, it is a good way for her to go out. But I couldn't take my eyes off the boys. Yeah. yeah. Look at those. I mean, not just because they're boys, but I couldn't. I'm sorry. No. But they're so 